insane. I cannot be the only person who thinks this is so absurd. What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you something that is absolutely insane. Absurd, mind-blowing, jaw-dropping, kind of terrifying, definitely worthy of smashing the like button on this video, although to be honest, I'm not the one who deserves the likes, it's more like the engineers who developed the AI system that I'm about to show you who deserve the likes. Although, if they're the reason that humanity as we know it gets destroyed by artificial intelligence, maybe they don't deserve likes. But anyway, okay, the point is, yesterday, on April 6th, I think, 2022, OpenAI, which is the AI company or, you know, laboratory or whatever you want to call it that Elon Musk and a few other people uh, founded a few years ago, they released the second version of one of their AI systems, or neural networks, whatever you want to call it, which is named Doll E, so Doll E version 2. I think, by the way, that that's like a play on words on Wall E, that Pixar movie with a robot. I think so, because it sounds the same. But anyway, point is, this AI system, as described on their website, is the following. Doll E 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. And let me tell you, it is absurd. So I'm just going to show you some of the images that this AI system has created. Remember, no humans involved, just AI. And tell me if you don't agree with me that this is insane. Okay, so the first one, the description here is rabbits attending a college seminar on human anatomy. And this is the image that was produced. Like, what? This is not a human who drew this, or who painted this, or who illustrated this in Photoshop, or whatever. No, this is this AI system based on that one line. Or another one, a rabbit detective sitting on a park bench and reading a newspaper in a Victorian setting. Just think about that for a second, a Victorian setting. You know, what does that mean exactly? And now look at the image that was produced. It's like the perfect image for this line, for this description. Another one, robot dinosaurs versus monster trucks in the Colosseum. Look at this. And these images are like actually cool. This is just like, to me, this is mind blowing. And I feel like most people seem to agree that this is mind blowing, but I feel like some people don't realize just how mind blowing it is. Um, like perhaps I'm just like too impressed by this, maybe because I don't know, you know, that much about AI and machine learning and all that. By the way, if you are a machine learning engineer and you want to work at a company like OpenAI, or maybe you're an aspiring machine learning engineer, definitely check out ML Expert, Algo Experts machine learning interview prep product, or any other technical interview prep product that we have on our platform. Go to algoexpert.io and use promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. Okay, let's go back to these images. A large robotic superintelligence guides humanity towards rockets for interstellar exploration in the style of the cartoon Animaniacs. I don't even know what that cartoon is, but look at this image. It is so cool. A landscape with tropical forests, solar panels, wind turbines, and a futuristic city in the background. And look, it's got all the details. It's got the wind turbines. It's got the solar panels. It's got Forests. It's got a futuristic city. Androids dreaming of electric sheep. Like, this is the kind of stuff that, that's so, like, abstract and, and, you know, random and out there. And yet the images seem to be exactly what you would imagine for the given sentence. Here's another one. A shipping container with solar panels on top and a propeller on one end that can drive through the ocean by itself. The self-driving shipping container is driving under the Golden Gate Bridge during a beautiful sunset with dolphins jumping all around it. So much randomness here. And look, you've got the Golden Gate Bridge. You've got a sunset. You've got solar panels. You've got that little turbine or engine at the end of the shipping container. The only thing that I don't see here are dolphins. I guess it forgot the dolphins. But still, like, this is insane. I cannot be the only person who thinks this is so absurd. An elephant tea party on a grass lawn. Look at this. Like, I would have never thought that, like, art and illustrations would be something that, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, would basically, like, make obsolete first. Like, you know, logic 
would imply that that would be the last thing that AI can do. You know, creative things that involve, like, art and imagination and creativity. And yet, and yet, a wise cat meditating in the Himalayas searching for enlightenment. This is so cool. Like, I love these illustrations. A human basking in the sun of AGI utopia. Like, look at this. Human and AI fall in love and create the future children of the Milky Way galaxy. I can't. I can't. This is too good. Portraits of the same person in different artistic styles. Like, what? A painting inspired in Banksy's art. Banksy's like a famous, you know, street artist. Showing a human-machine interaction. Like, it is so cool. The creativity that this AI system, like, seems to, to come up with is absurd. A city on Mars. There you go. A warm fireplace on top of a building in an apocalyptic city, steampunk style. A shark and a dolphin cruise hand in hand with an undersea city in the background. I love this. I love the little like, dolphin and shark. A huge tree of life made up of individual humans and animals as its leaves. Look. And it's, it's so cool how, like, all these images are just different styles. And I think that you can use this uh, AI to generate, like, different images for the same, you know, description. And, like, it shows you just, like, you know, it's like kind of a, a new image every time, I think. Um, dinosaurs playing frisbee in the throne room. So random and so cool. And like you can imagine that if you change one word, right, it completely changes the image. Like here, if we did dinosaurs playing frisbee in the throne room with a backdrop of a tropical forest or something, then it would look very different. Anyway, this is super cool. I'm going to link the tweet thread in the description below and in the comments below. Uh, I'm also going to put a link to the OpenAI uh, website where they describe it, because I think that you can see even other images there. For example, one that's really cool is like, teddy bears working on AI research on the moon in the 1980s. That's so cool. And you see, like, the fact that there are multiple images here, I think this is what I meant before when I said, like, you rerun the program and it just generates new versions of you know, the, an image for the same description. Just like, I don't know, mind-boggling stuff. I think I saw a comment on the Twitter thread that was like, this is how the dinosaurs felt like when they saw the asteroids or meteors uh, coming, you know, on Earth. Like, in other words, like, this is so scarily good that, you know, this is like, you know, the, the, the first glimpse at the end of humanity as we know it that we are seeing. Anyway, I thought this was really cool. Go check out all the links. Uh, you know, huge congrats. Like, congrats doesn't even begin to, to, to do it justice, but huge congrats to the engineers at OpenAI working on this stuff. Um, super cool. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share the video with anybody who you think would be impressed by this. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short-form content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.